Hi there, this is Navneet and welcome to my channel Navneet Technical. This is the sixth video of the playlist Flipkart clone using React.js. And in the last video, we saw how to integrate voice assistance to our React app. And coming to this video, we are going to see how to filter the products based on the user given input as we saw in the earlier videos. That is, for example, if you say show me some pants, it should show some pants, right? And if you say show me some shirts, it should show some shirts. So like that. So without any delay, let's start. First of all, let me open my VS code. Okay, before going to that, uh, let us uh, check uh, whether our uh, voice assistance is working perfectly or not. Okay, so for that, what you have to do is, uh, yesterday we, uh, I mean in the last video, we saw how to uh, create an account on LN AI and how to use that, right? So get into there. And if you are new to this video, uh, do watch that video and then come to this video. And in order to do that, uh, just uh, type in ln ai and just open this uh, first link uh, and uh, just uh, sign into your account and uh, you will uh, show the all the projects available and just uh, click on that open project and you will get it to here okay see and if you say hello world it should reply to me that hello now Neet. okay if it is the case then our voice assistance is working fine and perfect so now let me test it hello world hello Navaneeth see it replied to me hello Navaneeth that means our voice assistance is working fine now let's get into the build okay see now let's open my VS code and uh, this is my VS code and uh, I'm going to app.js and this is what uh, we have uh, written in the last video right just we have initialized our ln button as soon as our app component is being rendered so and uh, one more thing and my react server is already up and running you can see over here in my common prompt my react server is already up and running okay now uh, coming to the this video that is uh, coming to the concept we are going to get one extra file in this uh, video that is this data.js and uh, this data.js is a collection of uh, that is array of objects uh, that is uh, every object has an offer price actual price rating and a name and an image okay and uh, i created this uh, uh, file personally that is uh, by googling the images and uh, uh, writing offer price and whole thing and it is a i think it took uh, nearly two to three hours and if you want this file and let me know in the comment section if you want this file okay now the idea is uh, we are going to uh, iterate uh, through every object of this data file and we are going to filter uh, based on this uh, name key value pair okay see this name is different for uh, uh, different products that is uh, for shoe this name will be shoe and uh, uh, let me show you uh, for shoe uh, name will be shoe and for shorts and uh, name will be short uh, and like that okay like that so on and uh, let me show to you another one I uh, see for skirt the name will be skirt so based on this name we are going to filter the products and uh, show to the user onto the screen so first uh, well, what we do is uh, let us see actually what this uh, data.js contain okay so in order to do that what i'll do is i'll just import uh, this data file into my app.js so import data from i'm sorry dot slash data and uh, what I'll do is as it is an array of objects I will map through that so in order to write JavaScript inside uh, JSX uh, we use a curly braces right so that's why I'm using curly braces and data dot map of uh, and each item for each item what I'll do is I'll just return the image of that uh, product the image of that product I am sorry actually why img and just press tab and the source will be item dot img image right see you can see over here uh, where is the data judge is yeah it is here I uh, see uh, we are mapping through this whole data right and this one will be the item right and in this item we have an image right so that's why I'm writing over here item dot image 
and alt will be images okay and uh, you should not give image or photo as alt and remember that and it will show an error i mean it will show a warning okay so uh, for each item i will uh, return an image and as well as i also want to return its uh, name okay so i'll take a p tag and what i'll write is item dot name and it is showing a big red line sir that is uh so i'll just use a react fragment over here in order to avoid that one so that's nothing but uh, it will say that jsx element should contain one parent element so like that i'll just press ctrl s save now once uh, get into your browser actually nothing is shown right actually what is happening oh actually oh the images are too big right so what i'll do is uh, first uh, via I, what i will do is i will apply width right width i will i will take the width attribute and i'll just set it 200 okay it will be comfortable to see okay um, now once uh, come over to here and now you can see uh we have a uh, different types of uh, we have shoes we have skirts uh, and we have pants and we have shirts and so on right What I'll do is I'll just take a div and I will apply display flex to that. See, and it will be uh, comfortable to see. Okay, so that's why I'm doing this. Just y style equal to and this is a process how we do inline styling in React. And what I'll do is I'll just say display flex and flex wrap where is flex wrap it is here right flex wrap will be wrap w r a p uh, just press ctrl save once come out to your browser refresh it why it is not applying why display flex is not applied right uh, uh, why it is not applying i'll just uh, remove this name for now yeah okay 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 yeah okay i understood the mistake okay see we are uh, re we are returning this uh, for uh, every image right every image and uh, i mean we are returning a new div for every image and for every item right so that's why it is not applying display flex so what i'll do is i'll just take this to uh, top i'll just take this div to top and i will use the same react fragment over here okay now just press ctrl so now uh, now everything uh, should be fine okay see now now everything is fine yeah okay one more, one more thing i just want to do is uh, uh, this uh, name is not looking uh, nice and i just want to give this as object fit contain okay see uh, this object fit contain what it does is it uh, it will not uh, uh, disturb the image that is it will keep the aspect ratio uh, proper aspect ratio it will not disturb the aspect ratio so that's why i'm just taking object fit as contain now uh, see now you can see okay now it is looking somewhat nice okay see uh, over here we have a uh, we have shoes we have some skirts pants and shirts so we have a uh, that means uh, we have a combination of all right now uh, we are going to filter this uh, based on the commands you given by the user okay now now how we are going to do that see for that what what are we going to do is we will write a function we will write a function uh, where we filter uh, where we filter the data and we also uh, use a state see based on that uh, we will we can uh, get it see uh, let me explain properly okay see here we have a first command right so when we say when we uh, when this first command is matched what it is going to do it is going to uh, uh, do that alert of first command uh, see we have seen this in the uh, previous video so 
what I'll do is I'll just copy paste this and what I'll do is uh, now the command will be if command equal to show instead of alerting what I'll do is I'll just call a, a function uh, le let us say that is a filter of I'll just call a function and I will just uh, give it as a I mean a property uh, you can you may call me our arguments or like that so I'll provide a parameter to it that is show and what this filter function does is it will filter all the uh, I mean all the objects from this data.js which uh, whose name attribute is shoe that is whose name attribute is shoe so and it will return all that uh, objects and what we are going to do we will uh, render that objects onto the screen and we will render only that and uh, for getting uh, another thing I mean for getting uh, skirts or for getting shirts uh, we will create another command and uh, uh, saying that uh, SHART shirt uh, and here we will pass shirt and what this command does is uh, when it matches with shirt and it uh, this command does is and it will return shirts and in the same way we will create uh, uh, some more commands like for shoe one command for shirt one command and for skirt one command so like that we will create uh, a number of commands based on our uh, requirement so now let us see actually how to uh, make that filter function so come over here and I'll just say const I'll just take an arrow function and here what we'll do is we'll just say const filtered equal to we have the data right so data dot I will apply a filter method on that filter of and function and uh, I for every item for every item uh, what I'll do is I'll check if item dot name dot includes of and I will pass uh, see we are passing this uh, shoe from here right so I'll get that over here that is uh, say names and I will say over here names so if uh, this is the case what I'll do is I will return true and else return null okay now uh, let us see actually what this filter contain okay so I'll just come out over here and I'll just console log it I'm not getting the yeah now I got it what I'll do is I'll just say filtered okay filtered I'm sorry I'm just typing it mistaken mistake okay and uh, now uh, okay now this is the case and now we have to uh, I mean we have to design these commands in our LNA app right LNA I2 right so I'll just press ctrl s save for here now now let us get into LN studio that is uh, over here see for the first command for the first uh, command command we designed that is uh, we, uh, we, uh, we say that uh, execute uh, we said Alan to reply to me that executed first command and we are alerting there something right so but uh, now I don't want this right control shift I actually <laughs> this shortcut is not working over here uh, we should just uh, use a control C and control V and uh, now what I want to say is instead of start first command I just want to say show me some shoe and the command will be shoe and instead of uh, writing this over here we can write it here itself by giving a comma okay 
and what the ln should reply is um, i just want to say uh, look at these shoes okay look at these uh, shoes and in the same way also want to make another intent so i'll just say control c and click enter and control v and this intent is for command shirt okay so now this time this command will be shirt and i just want to say to alan that is uh, show me some shirts s h i r t s and uh, i want it to reply me back that uh, look at these uh, shirts now just press control s save now see here if we say show me some shoe to alan it should uh, it should uh, execute this uh, that is command shoe uh, what we are doing here in command shoe we are calling this function that is a filter of function and we are passing a shoe parameter over here and we are filtering we are filtering uh, this data based on this that is whichever contain name as shoe that should appear over here that is in this filter and we are console logging that filter okay see now so when we uh, when we say show some shoe to me now it should uh, say look at these shoes and it should console log that uh, filtered shoes okay now uh, let me open my console so for that just uh, press uh, control shift i and uh, once uh, refresh your browser yeah okay what should i say now uh, i should say show me some shoe right it should console log that shoes show me some shoe sorry it's beyond my abilities right now actually what is going on it is saying that sorry beyond uh, are we doing anything wrong over here p dot play of command shoe and uh, everything is fine right we are having interactions as well uh let's try one more time is anything uh, wrong in our uh, everything is fine right if command equal to equal to equal to shoe okay let us try one more time show me some shoe look at these shoes yeah it is working fine now actually i don't know why it uh, done like that and see here uh, we got uh, some data as well you see and these are all the shoes okay see these 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 are the data uh, in which we have shoes right see and uh, now whenever we say show me some shoes it is returning the data that is regarding shoes and if we say like that if we say shirt <coughs> i'm sorry guys if we say shirt it will return shirt like that so if we say anything uh, that uh, will return in the console and but now we don't want to hear this uh, in the console right we we want to uh, show only that part to the screen so in order to do that what i'll do is i'll just take a state uh, i'll ju uh, i'll just take a state over here that is a uh, use a state what i'll do is i'll just say category and uh, set category and i will give a uh, empty array as its initial value that is initial state uh, i'll should import this uh, use state so import use state right use state from react and what i'll do is as soon as we uh, filter this i'll uh, set that uh, category to this filter
and instead of uh, instead of mapping through uh, whole data i will map through this filtered uh why it is showing error okay okay category right i'm sorry so i'll uh, map through this category instead of the whole data so like that we will get only shoes uh, when we say show me some shoes right so just press control s save oh 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 okay okay we see uh, here when that command executes uh, it will uh, set category and it will show but uh, what if uh, what if for the first time for the first time we want to load every product right so what i'll do is i'll just uh, create uh, i'll uh, just call in the use effect with empty with empty string see in uh, every every name attribute contain empty string right so that's why in this case in this way uh, every item will be shown onto the screen for the first time see now every every item is shown onto the first time for the first time when app component is rendered and now if i say that is show me some shoe it should show only shoe from all these products okay now let us test that command that is by saying show me some shoe show me some shoe look at these shoes look at these shoes see now it is filtering shoes for us right that's it guys we got it see in the same way if we say show me some shirt it should so it should show shirt right now let's test that command show me some shirt look at these shirts see guys it is showing shirts i am very excited actually i am getting the, the result of for the first time itself now let us test it some, one more time uh let's uh, refresh it okay see for the first time and it will show all the products and uh, as soon as we say uh, allen to filter the shoe that is show me some shoe show me some shoe look at these shoes see it is filtered the shoes for us show me some shirt look at these shirts see like this it is showing some shirts see uh, see it is a very very simple piece of code right see very simple piece of code and we successfully uh, not only uh, integrated uh, Uh, voice functionality to our react app but also we are able to filter the products based on that so that's it that's it for this video guys and the homework for you is see we have not only we uh, we have shoe and uh, we have short uh, i mean we have shirt right we have uh, shorts as well we have skirt as well and we have uh, some more things we have pant as well right? so what what you have to do is uh, make commands for everything that is uh, for skirt for sandal for everything and uh, prepare your app for the for the next video that is uh, in the next video we will design a beautiful card uh, same as a flip card uh, instead of uh, showing this uh, uh, just uh, raw images okay so that's it for this video guys uh, if you find it uh, helpful do share with your friends uh, and if you find it uh, that mean if you like the video give it a thumbs up and uh, do subscribe for further updates thanks for watching guys